This is for the Lyme newbies, the people that have just been diagnosed, um, people that are figuring out how to deal with things post-diagnosis, and really um, sharing my experience with one of the aspects that was the hardest for me of all, which was acceptance and accepting that temporarily um, this was my life and my objective is purely getting better. Uh, that's my one goal. And, you know, on the one hand, um, you're incredibly relieved uh, because you finally have an answer as to what was behind all your mysterious symptoms that took a million doctors to figure out. And then, on the other hand, you're entering into this incredibly complex and confusing universe that is Lyme. Um, so it was really bittersweet for me, but uh, the thing that took me so long and I think ultimately held me back was my reluctance to accept the diagnosis and uh, my hesitance to just deal with it. Um, it really put me a couple steps back looking back on it, but um, I'm going to try to share my experience and hopefully shed some light on uh, accepting um, the world of Lyme. I think everybody, whether they want to admit it or not, thinks they're indestructible and they have a certain sense of um, power and you know oh that's such a shame that happened to her and I'm really sorry to hear that happened to him but I'm fine and I'm gonna keep living a certain way and you know uh, not hearing things and and being closed-minded and shut myself off from the possibility that I'm vulnerable and I was certainly guilty of that um, I happen to live in an area where Lyme is very common and uh, I still <laughs> was in complete disbelief. Um, I saw it happening to friends around me. Um, I would hear stories, but you know, if it's not personal, if it's not in your life, if, if it's not really truly affecting you, um, it's easy to ignore. And I certainly did that. Um, but one of the strange blessings of being ill and uh, having this happen to me, and it, I've been uh, in the throes of it for two and a half years now, is you get a taste of how fragile and vulnerable everything is, and you you appreciate everything. Uh, you have a new sense of of just joy for simple things like being able to wash your hair and dry your hair by yourself, and you know, beautiful sunny days that you can actually see, and you know, migraine patches that actually work, and little things mean so much when. Uh, when they didn't used to. Bottom line is accepting your diagnosis is the first step in getting better and healing. And once you start to look at it that way, it isn't as daunting and it won't be as scary and horrible if you realize that this is just one step in the road to recovery. For support and information from others who are newly diagnosed, visit facebook.com slash lineship.